In this video, we're going to be talking about the Jira Advanced Roadmaps, aka Plants, Summer View. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out those links down below, as I have links to my merch store, my paid courses, my free courses, and all the other different ways that you can help support this channel. Now, why should you care about this? Well, when we're running our teams, right? When we're doing our project management, if you're only using the jar itself, or worse yet, if you're only relying on your boards, you might not get the full effect of the grander scale of where your project or your program are. And unless you're working with a really, really small team, then you probably don't care, right? But if you're like almost every other corporate team I've ever worked with, we're like a team of teams, right? We're very cross-functional. Cross-functional is a word that exists in our DNA a lot as these enterprise companies that we are. And so this cross-functional view of being able to see everything, not just for one project, not just for one little team, but the whole grand scheme of things, this is a very critical and powerful view and one that I highly recommend that you use because when you can have this insight, when you can have this information and be able to make decisions like, hey, I have 29 overdue issues. If I have to go and figure out what resource am I going to channel where, what's probably going to be to tackle the overdue work or maybe have blocked work, right? And this is all about as your project manager or your technical program manager, as they're trying to figure out how and where do we send our troops? How do we put out this next fire? Where is this next fire? Well, this summary view is going to give us that executive view without having to build dashboards because all of this could technically be created as a dashboard, but now you got to go create filters. Now you got to go do this and that. And yeah, you get a little bit more flexibility, but the problem that I usually see is that sometimes teams focus on the wrong things, right? Sometimes they just do metrics for the sake of metrics, but these are critical ones that Atlassian has again deemed worthy. These are what Atlassian thinks if you follow, if you follow through with them, then you should be more effective and your projects and programs will hopefully start trending in the better direction. So that's kind of why you should use this or why you should pay attention because that insight is very, very powerful, right? It's just a very, very powerful view to see your aggregated data, to see your summary, to see where those problems are, where's your boat leaking, and then figure out how to clog those holes up so that the water doesn't exit your boat right? Because nobody wants to be drowning. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. And most importantly, there's links down below. Check them all out. We got some really cool merch. We have some paid courses, some free courses. I have one-on-one -on -one memberships. I have just donations, whatever you want, whatever you're looking for. I probably have a resource for you. So everything is in that link tree down below. So go check it out and I'll see you in the next one.